And here's the third one. Whether you guys will probably be getting more episodes down the line, who knows. Hopefully the sooner you do, or rather the sooner we do, the sooner I provide my thoughts. So let's get underway, shall we? I am Mega Man NG, and I welcome you one and all to my Power Rangers Beast Morphers episode review. Today we're going to be talking about episode 11, Tools of the Betrayed. So here's the deal. I'll provide a summary, a synopsis, as well as several main points of focus. This episode is also rather interesting to say the least. Let us begin, shall we? It starts as the Rangers are doing training at the gym. Everything goes well until Ben and Betty give a package to Devin. While Blaze is on the attack, Ben and Benny are asked to make sure the headset is undamaged. Things go wrong fast, and the headset breaks. After the fight, Blaze gets reprimanded, and Roxy uses what happened to her advantage. Meanwhile, Devin learns his headset bra- is broken, and despite Ben and Betty explaining, it's not enough. Things are already tense. With Roxy ready to make her move, can the Rangers be able to stop Evox's newest attack? And what about what happened to the headset? Can the twins tell the truth, or will a little white lie tear the team apart? That's pretty much the whole gist of it in a nutshell. Another new episode that was released in Australia. The ironic thing is that this episode came out probably on the 7th of July, like about four days ago. So, yeah, that means that I'm back on my feet doing another Rise of the, or rather, another Beast Morphous episode review. At least it gives me something to do, right? really does. The plot has the Rangers deal with another of Evox's plans, but things within the team are already tense when a little lie threatens to break each other's trust, especially between Devin and Zoe. It happened because Ben and Betty broke their headset, and that one problem began to snowball real fast. Yes, Ben and Betty surprisingly are integral to the plot. They really are, and it's a really interesting surprise to say the least. Though, despite their antics being really funny, I like that it also has, like, a focus on them as well. And it also shares focus with Devin and Zoe. All four are integral to this. And all the while, Roxy strikes with a Robotron that has the ability to do the opposite of fixing things. Breaking things apart. We actually get to see it happen in the episode when the monster not only, like, takes apart the... the, like, some sort of security thing, but also it takes apart the Ranger's weapons... And Zoe's Morpher. I mean, they can break anything apart with just a simple blast. This really puts the Rangers in a serious predicament. It also is the reason why the Rangers' trust began to fall apart. How a little white lie, as well as the monsters that's causing it, well, let it all happen. A lie is a terrible thing. And it's even more terrible when a simple lie can snowball into a serious predicament. That's how it happened. How it happened. How it started with a VR headset. That broke, and then it grew into this. I also like that it can be also be an important life lesson for the Rangers to learn, especially Devin and Zoe. The most important rule is to be truthful. Be truthful. The same can be said for Ben and Betty, who surprisingly kind of startled this mess. They also are the reason why, well, they pretty much solved the situation. They did, so I will give credit where credit is due. Like in episode 9, this episode has a few firsts. We also get to see the first time we get to see the Wrecker Zord's battle mode. But not only that, we get to see the, both the Wrecker and the Jet Sword combine to form the Striker Megazord. Yeah, both Gold and Silver Rangers become goats in more ways than one, now that they each have a Megazord. Same for Steel. I really am impressed by it, since now we have two, epi- two Megazords, that's what makes it grand. So, just wait a few episodes down the line. Trust me, we may see both Megazords combined as something even more better. Am I spoiling it, or is it the fact that I watched Ghostbusters before this? I really need to binge watch that. To tell you the truth, I really couldn't find anything to highlight in this episode, except for the Beast X Megazord kick, as well as the premiere of the Striker Megazord. Yeah, we actually get like a Rider kick style in a Power in your series. Don't ask, don't at me, doesn't really matter. Don't get me wrong, the episode is enjoyable, but I feel it focuses more on the Rangers and testing their bonds through a tough trial and a tough tough predicament. That's not to say that anything is bad, it's just that I actually do like it. It's pretty well done, and it helps build things up nicely and accordingly. Oh, and not to mention, Ben and Benny do end up setting setting things right at the end. All's well that ends well, right? Especially when they saved the headset before it would end up breaking again, so not all hope is lost. 
I really did enjoy this episode a lot, and I can't say enough how awesome it is. Now let's only hope that Audacity does not freeze on me and I end up losing precious seconds because I hate that. So yeah, the final score for this episode is, like most others, an 8.5. Very solid, very good episode. I really have been enjoying it big time, and I really like how a simple situation, like a simple lie, can snowball into a predicament. But at least things can set things right. They really can't. I mean that. However, despite the Rangers' victory, Evox's forces now not only have the Gorilla Beast DNA, but also the Grasshopper, too. What Evox has planned next? Or I think it's the Jackrabbit? Yeah, it is the Jackrabbit. I thought it was the Grasshopper, but in truth, it's the Jackrabbit. I know that someone's going to be correcting me in the comments, but yeah, I corrected it before they did. They have the Jackrabbit DNA and Gorilla DNA. Whatever they're planning ne next, who knows, but it's not going to be good. Not good to say the least. You also wonder why I released these episode reviews instead of having to wait months for them. Thanks to a friend of mine who provided me links on where I can watch them, I was able to cover them and provide my thoughts. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And if not, I tried my best. It's just that, yeah, things aren't any better. But I've decided I may as well just stick with it, stick my guns and see how it goes. So yeah, that is going to be it for this episode review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot to me. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and click the bell. Doing it all helps out to my benefit. And yes, it truthfully does. I can't stress it enough. So yeah, that's going to be it. When new episodes come, I will be providing my thoughts on them. This is Bigaman NG signing off. Peace out. See y'all later. Let's morphing.